Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> My soulless stare into the void is a representation of how I feel. <laughs> how was your break? Not bad. Not bad? Yeah. Santa brought me a Christmas cold. Yep. Can't wait yep. to get that second hand oh, yeah. from you. <laughs> no, it's hey, done. I'll get it's some time off work. Now, it's so. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Sue got it as well. Oh, boy. Yeah, I gave it to her for Christmas. So. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cute. I'm, I'm such so a thoughtful. sweetheart. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> but we did like the, the COVID test to make sure I wasn't mm-hmm. having COVID and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. And then aside from that, it's been nice and quiet and relaxing. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I feel like out-socialized. Out-socialized? Yeah, like my <laughs> social battery, it's not empty. It's like below empty. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, it doesn't feel like socializing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just come over and drink your coffee and... Pet the dogs. Pet the dogs and shoot the shit. We say pet the dogs and she walks away. Yeah, she's like, kiss my ass. Yeah. So she's putting her ass in our face right now. Oh, same, Brooklyn. That's exactly how I feel right now. We need a puppy cam. Yeah, we do. We really should have a puppy cam. But she only comes down here once. Yeah. We need the puppy cam strictly for when she starts rolling on her back, like she's in the grass or something. Yeah. It's great. Um, Yeah, my Christmas was... I don't want to say hectic, but I drove home. Right, okay. Um, which was really nice. It was better than flying. Because um, flying, I usually would, like, go in for one day, and then I wouldn't be able to bring anything home with me because, like, all my snacks would be confiscated, and yeah, I only had so much room in my luggage. So I was like, whatever, we got to ho- load up a whole car this time. Exactly. <laughs> and bring the rats with us. So <clears throat> the rats got presents from Santa. Oh. They loved it. <laughs> well, they loved some of it. They ate their treats, and they got a new little hut to sleep in. Okay. And No, this one wasn't from Santa. I got them more food from a different pet store, and they didn't have their regular food, and they hated it. Oh, really? <laughs> so. So that wasn't from Santa. That was from no, Mom. No, that was from Mom. <laughs> Mom bought us yucky food. <laughs> it has mealworms in it. I thought they'd like it. <laughs> but yeah. You got a new toaster. Got a new toaster. Yeah. And that's it. It's Almost exciting. bought a new guitar. That's crazy. Yeah. I find at the holiday time, it's not it's not at like Christmas, but Christmas is the day that tips it for me. Where I'm like, even if I'm just on Instagram, which when I'm home <laughs> and visiting people, if there's nothing to do, I'll like scroll through my phone a couple times mm-hmm. during the day. And then I see all these people posting things that they got. And I normally am not like a very... I, I kind of am a materialistic person, but I try not to be. And, like, Christmas is super materialistic. Yes. But leading up to Christmas, I'm like, this is so dumb. Who likes this holiday? And then Christmas comes, and I see what people got, and then I see the sales on Boxing Day, and I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> I'm a basic bitch. <laughs> Give me all the things. I want all the things. So I bought myself some stuff, but... that's Christmas started that all. It's It's like a... It's like an iceberg. Or not, maybe it's not an iceberg. It's a snowball. It's a snowball effect. Yes, okay. Because yeah. I was browsing. I told you that I, I gave into capitalism and bought myself something from a, an electronics store for fun. <laughs> you know how long it's been since I bought myself something just for fun that I didn't, like, need? Okay, yeah. When was the last time you bought yourself something electronic for fun that you didn't need to accomplish a certain job? Camera gear excluded. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh God. It's been a while, actually. Right? Yeah. So Maurice, in case people don't know, Maurice is my coworker and friend. Um, we were talking about that, and that's what that's what tipped me. <laughs> it's like, well, let's look at what Canada Computer has. Yeah. Yeah. So I bought a projector. Because <laughs> who doesn't need a projector? <laughs> exactly. So how big does it project? Like... Um, it can go pretty crazy like it's actually really bright and it's an led so it doesn't have the bulb which is nice because then i don't have to be like those old people that come in asking for projector bulbs all the time yeah um (laughs) but it was uh it i don't know how 
technically how big it goes, but like our bedroom is has like a huge empty wall. Yeah. So it fills the entire wall. Holy fuck. I need to move it a little closer because it's a little over the top. Okay. <laughs> like I have to push my bed away from the wall and I set it up and I put it on like the windowsill and it took up the entire wall. Like, even the door. And I was like, Justin, get in here! (laughs) What? And the lights are off? And I'm like, it's like a movie! And I'm sitting there. It feels like when it's that, when when the screen is that big, it feels like you're sitting at the front of the movie theater where you're, like, looking up. And is it, like, crystal clear and sharp? Super clear. Really? And it's a smart one. It's the ViewSonic... Not not sponsored. Um, (laughs) ViewSonic M1 Plus. M1 Mini Plus. So it's, like... They advertise it as being pocket sized. I don't know who has pockets that big. That big. (laughs) Women definitely don't. It's purse sized. Um. Yeah, it's it's really cool. How much was it? It was on sale. Okay. (laughs) Like I said when I walked in the door and told you this, (laughs) I shouldn't have I shouldn't have purchased it. But I got a little bit of Christmas money. Right. Collectively from different family members, so I was like, this isn't real money. This is fun money. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So it didn't come out of my banking account, so I'm still poor, but okay. I have a protector now. Um, <laughs> but I was going to get the M1 Mini. Right. Not the Plus. The Mini was on sale at Canada Computers for 175 Okay. Um, for a projector, that's not too bad. Yeah. And I was like, okay. And I was reading good reviews. I was like, I don't care if it's crazy. I just want to plug my Switch into it and watch Netflix in my depression dungeon bedroom sometimes. <laughs> um... <laughs> And then I read that the Plus had wireless, and I was like, okay. So the Plus was two oh nine on sale, and I think they were re- it was regularly. I don't know. I need to check now. So but anyways, you make it sound like it was like a thousand dollars. No way! I don't have that much. I didn't get yeah. that. <laughs> it would be nice if I got that much Chris's money, but you know. <laughs> wow. Okay, I, I didn't even look at the original price. Okay. It's two seventeen ninety. <laughs> Oh, so it was I like six bucks. I saved almost six bucks. <laughs> Seven, eight bucks almost. Wow. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm just going to put this in the airplane mode. There we go. Because I got to show you. So you know how I was like wanting to change up what I'm doing mm-hmm. with photography, right? Mm-hmm. So I played a little bit with my LED light. And Did you studios to oh my god that's so cute chuck <laughs> that's so cool did but, you drag but, the shutter on that what do you want me to hold this yeah swipe through because i did that with the my little guns and roses look at you you've, you've, you've peaked yeah you've peaked at studio photography <laughs> that's then, so cute i love that one and then i started playing with wow. my vape this is smoke. like art yeah wow you should print these you should print them and like put them here. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll display them there. Right <laughs> but now. all the time. <laughs> all the time, yes. From the oh, look at that one. Look at that. Look yeah. Swirl. And the focus was off. That's okay. It's smoke. Exactly. It looks like a painting. It doesn't even look like a photo. That is so cool, Chuck. Look at you. You're an artist now. Over the course of two weeks, not even, <laughs> you've become a studio photographer and an artist. That's super cool. Yeah, it was fun. Especially playing with the different the different lights and stuff. Or mm-hmm. just the different colors of light in the smoke. And, but trying to get the smoke to go <laughs> properly. <laughs> it's the phone sliding across the table again. Oh, the good old days. If nobody knows what we're talking about, go exactly. back to season one yep. and watch my phone slide across the table over the course two of the episode. Or three yeah. or something like that. So, God, <laughs> that was like so many years ago. Or it was a year ago. This is unreal. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm too tired. I just had a realization. We're basically Wayne's World right now. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. <laughs> no, I don't know. We have guitars in the background and a couch. We're not as entertaining as... Well, I think we're entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Just really low energy today. I'm still processing my coffee. Um, what are your... Uh, what are you looking forward to most in 2022? I was going to say nothing, but then I realized I'm getting married in like six months, so... <laughs> six months. 
Not even six months. It's, I think Four it's, months. It's 131 days. Holy shit. Wow. I know. I'm not, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not at the same time just because of like the planning. Yeah. It's crunch time. Like as soon as I went home for the holidays, everybody was like, how's the wedding planning going? I had to stop wedding planning because the way that my brain works, you know how my brain works. Yeah. it's. But uh... it gets like out of fucking control. Yeah. Like I will lose <laughs> sleep. Like I can't stop it. Justin's always like, just chill. And I was like, thank you. I never fucking thought of that. I never thought of just chilling. If somebody has a chill pill, I will gladly take all of them. Give me your red, blue, red, red and blue pills, everything. <laughs> Because it's literally like a new thought, a new thought, new thought, new thought, new thought, back to the other thought, other thought. And I'm like, it's all over the fucking place. Yeah. So I took a break from planning because I was like, you know what? Well, this was a while ago. This was like back when we first got engaged. I was in that spot where I was like, I need to figure everything out. Yeah. And I got all the big shit out of the way, like the vendor, photographer. Well, photographer was the first thing done. She's, that's easy. That wasn't even a big deal. (laughs) Um, Photographer, or no. (laughs) Venue. Uh, food, alcohol, um, DJ, that was all done. I was like, okay, I'm going to relax and like, I'll focus on like bridesmaids, gifts, like fun little creative things. And then I actually stopped for like two months because I was like, I can chill. I'll just save. I, I don't really need to get stuff done until later. Yeah. So I went home for the holidays and everybody's like, how's the wedding planning going? And I was like, great. I haven't been doing anything. It's been <laughs> awesome. It's actually very stressful. And, like, we're not having, like, a $20,000 wedding because I'm not made of money, but yeah. it's pretty stressful. But that's the thing is, like, you've got most of the stuff planned. Yeah, we do. It's just the little things now. Like, I need to... We're sending out invitations. Oh, my God, it's January. <laughs> we're sending out invitations next week. Oh, wow. Okay. Or, like, I have to print them off by the end of next week. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, although, you know what, the invitation things was is fun. Okay. This, it's stressful, but it's fun at the same time. Yeah. Because I'm just worried about... It's like crunch time. That was the whole point of me going off and off about that. On and on. Off and off. <laughs> you want to say? Um, it was... The, sta- the invitation thing is kind of fun for me, too, though, because, like, the week after we got engaged, I finished designing her invitations. Like, it was done. Okay. Everything was done for me because I really like the graphics part of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it was just, it wasn't work. It was fun. So I'm also a really big fan of stationery and printing stuff. <laughs> so I'm printing the invitations on my own. And then I go off about all these crazy, stupid things that nobody cares about, like the paper stock and my envelopes and like the fucking labels I made. And people are like, yeah. Anyways, so yeah. That's one that's one thing I got to get done next week but after that I have to like start cracking down and doing more stuff. What are you looking forward to in 2022? I'm sorry I went off. Uh Costa Rica and Belize. Yeah. And Africa. <clears throat> and I have a wedding to go to in in 131 days. 131 days. Yeah. <laughs> have you figured out where you guys are going to stay? Like are you staying in well, people know where it is. People are going to show up to the yeah. fucking wedding. Um, are you staying in, like, tourist area? Or are you going to stay just outside? In, like, uh, a nice, we, quiet we area? We haven't even looked. There are some really nice, quiet areas, too. Yeah. Outside of the tourist area, so. There is Niagara Falls. Right? St. Cath. Oh, it's technically pretty close to St. Catharines. And then it's there. Okay. So Niagara Falls is central. That's where we're staying because that's like where I'm getting ready and like our houses are and stuff. My dad lives over here and then just going to drive there. It's like a not it's like a 20, 25, 30 minute, maybe not even 30 minute from Niagara Falls drive. Okay. But anyways. But yeah, I don't know where we're going to secluded stay. I don't know if we're going to stay at like Niagara on the Lake or yeah, whatever. We'll figure it out. It's exciting. Sorry I interrupted you. No problem. What else are you looking forward to for 2022? You said wedding, um, Costa Rica, Belize. When is that again? Uh, February 1st and 14th. Oh my god. Yeah. Less than a month away. Wow. Oh yeah. Wow. Uh, we are really looking Are you ready to. with all your gear? Oh fuck yeah. Yeah? Yep. It's scattered all over the place. So. <laughs> 
Naturally. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I can't wait for that. I just, oh, man. Get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> what? You've never heard of that before? Mm-mm. So when people are, like, getting out of town, it's like getting out of Dodge, because Dodge City... It's like old Is it westerns. A saying? Yeah, it's oh. like old westerns okay. and stuff. Yeah. Never mind. It's all good. I don't know the whole history I'm of sorry. it. So <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. I feel like a young baby right now. <laughs> yes. Well. Hmm. <laughs> you know what? No, I under I understand your pain because I love I love people that I hang out with, but when I hang out with people that are like 20, I'm 26. <laughs> when I hang out with people that are 20, I'm like. <clears throat> pardon <laughs> yeah like i feel so old and i'm not, I'm only six years older but it's a big generation gap oh yeah and then yeah. i can't even imagine how you feel about me yeah <laughs> <laughs> not having seen the wall still um <laughs> i still haven't watched it i'm sorry yeah, you've got to watch it but you yeah who was uh it. my co-worker came over on new year's eve i'm not throwing her under the bus i love her to pieces she might not even listen to this um she didn't know she'd never played guitar hero Okay. But she, it was, so like Guitar Hero is like the, I don't want to say it's the start. There's probably other games before it that I don't even know. But Guitar Hero is like the first la- start layout of like those type of type of games. Like, you know, like Beat Saber looks like that. Beat Saber is an Oculus game that's laid out with like the same way where the notes come towards you on the okay, screen. Okay, hold on a second. What you just said there, <laughs> Beat Saber is an Oculus game. <laughs> It was like you you suddenly started speaking Greek. Okay. Oculus is a VR headset. Yes. Oculus Rift thingy. Yes. Yes. Which I want. I want to add it to our wedding registry. (laughs) (laughs) But you need to get two of them. Yeah. Yeah. I'll add two. (laughs) That's what I should have got for myself over the holidays. Jesus Christ. I could have played Skyrim VR. You could do that? Yeah. Well, fuck me with a cattle prod. <laughs> no, Jesus thank you. Christ. But right. <laughs> so, Oculus is the VR headset, and there's a game called Beat Saber. But because you're playing in VR, you're like moving your arms. Yeah. It's basically, as if you have like lightsabers, and you're slashing the notes as they come towards you. Oh. It's laid out the same way that Guitar Hero is. Okay. So, anyway, she played Guitar Hero for the first time. Groundbreaking moment. I love it when people play games for the first time there, and I'm able to like witness it. <laughs> The other game that she played for the first time was Mario. Okay. Any kind of Mario game. Yeah. Which was really fun to watch someone play for the first time. So I just had an idea. What? Oculus. <laughs> Sponsor us. If you, need, if, <laughs> if you would like to give Vanessa a wedding present... His Oculus? And, yeah. His Oculus and, is going to sponsor us for our 30 Oculus, subs? <laughs> Oculus, 30 subs? Yeah, that's all, right yeah, now. Yeah. So Oculus, if you guys want to give Vanessa a pair. A pair. Not one, but two. If you call now, I'll double yes. your offer. <laughs> so yeah, if you buy her, if you give her two for her wedding, I'll buy one for myself. <laughs> Chuck, what a great deal. There we go. What a great deal. Call now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hurry up. This is a limited time offer. <laughs> we'll have to make sure we put like hashtag Oculus and all that stuff. And You know what I do hope that you give me for my wedding? A box of craft dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, that's the only way I can figure out transitioning it in. We've missed a couple this season. We have, yes. That's why they aren't, we're not sponsored. But that new toaster... Are you going to put craft in it? No, 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 no. But the craft peanut butter on the fresh toast? Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Oh, uh, melts and everything. Yeah, tell us about your new toaster. It's fucking psycho. Is this an infomercial? Like, yeah, really. It's yeah. fucking psycho. You don't press the thingy down. You press a button that goes... What? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are we living in, like, the future? Yes, we are. This is crazy. Yes. This toaster costs more than your projector. <laughs> So I'll just sit there with my projector eating toast. bread, <laughs> not <Yeah>. toast. <laughs> my toaster was thirteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, to Hamilton Beach. That's what I was expecting. 
Everything like, in my apartment is like the, well, not the cheapest. A lot of my appliances I've really pushed, knock on wood, I don't want them to die when I get home. <laughs> a lot of my appliances at home I've like pushed to the fucking limit. Okay. And they're still alive and they're like $15 appliances. Yeah. Like my blender. <laughs> $10 from Walmart. <laughs> Five years later, it's still working. Same with the toaster. It's my stomach. What was that? <laughs> It was my sister texting mm. me. Um, what other crazy... My, my kettle is really nice, though. It wasn't $15. It was free for me. My dad got it for me in college. But yeah, I was not expecting to spend that much on a toaster, but Sue wanted it, so... But it's a long slice toaster. Yeah, it's cool. There we go. It's a long slice toaster. <laughs> so, like, if you have, like, a rye, rye bread or... Something like that. Yeah. You could fit it in there, so it's not sticking out, and you don't have to flip it halfway through. And yeah. this sounds so weird. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Oh my god, that's cool though. Mm -mm. I've never seen a rye bread toaster normally. Yeah, normally you have to put it down, let it up, then flip it. Yeah. <laughs> You have like one cold end of a rye bread. Yeah. <laughs> Use a toaster oven. What are we in the Middle Ages? <laughs> we have a toaster oven. We never use it. Like, I feel like this is an ancient piece of history in our house. <laughs> Fucking toaster oven. Oh, man. It just made me think of the, the toast song. You've never heard the What's toast the song? What's the toast song? I feel like you've told me about the toast song. Uh, yeah, toast. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Caveman comes in. What do we do with, the, with the bacon and the eggs? He said, like, plug the toaster in the wall, make, buy a bag of bread, make toast. <laughs> when the first caveman drove in from the drags, didn't know what would go with the bacon and the eggs. <laughs> Must have been a genius, got it in his head. Plug the toaster in the wall, buy a bag of bread, make toast. <laughs> Are you looking forward to any uh, um, camera news this year? I don't really. I don't know. What's what's new coming out? Don't know. Exactly. I don't know. I hope. Like, I'm Nikon... looking forward to the new Olympus or OM Solutions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what they do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited to see if Nikon pulls themselves out of the fucking grave. <laughs> yeah. I'll be interested to see if Canon comes out with their R1. Mm -hmm. You know they've uh, discontinued their flagship DSLRs. Really? Yeah. Jesus. So it looks like it's... I'm really interested to see what entry-level mirrorless camera is going to be coming. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm 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 just I think I'm just more so excited to see like more entry level stuff like what is coming out. I'm this is going to sound horrible, but like we always talk about like flagship like big expensive models. They are exciting, but like I'm more excited to see what is like consumer level. Exactly. Yeah. Cuz like everybody focuses on the crazy big stuff. There's lots of stuff online about it. It's exciting, but I'm excited to see the stuff that they're actually going to make for people who are like yeah. Just getting started or whatever. Yeah. Because I think that's still my favorite part of photography and why I liked working at the camera store was helping people just get started. Because exactly. it's such an exciting experience and it's yeah. still so like fresh in my memory. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. When but you yeah, go ahead. Oh well, no, I was just gonna say when you open like a new electronic that is like just pure joy. Like I'm, I'm thinking about the projector. The projector was the first time I've experienced like joy like that since I got my camera. Okay. And my camera, I didn't get that much joy because I played with it at work all day. It wasn't brand new. Yeah. It was like my first, first camera when I opened it. And I was like, wow, living in the future with my Nikon D3000 <laughs> without live view. <laughs> anyway, sorry. What were you Better gonna than say? my D40. <laughs> You know what? I wanted a Nikon D... It wasn't a D40. I wanted a D90 yeah. so fucking bad. I'm keeping an eye out for one. If somebody comes yeah. in with one... I would shit my pants Because still. trade-in value is zero dollars. Yeah. So if they're like, can you just recycle this? I'm like, yeah, I will. I'll give it to Vanessa as her I, wedding gift. Yeah. I will shit my pants. 
My dad would literally listen to me when I was 15 years old, go on and on and on about this camera. I was like, I want a D- Nikon D90. It looks so cool. It's so good. Yeah. One of my teachers in high school had it, and he let me take it out for the day. My stomach is singing the song of its people right now. So I'm not going to give it to you for your wedding, though. You're going to give it to me for what? My funeral? Well, no, but if you... <laughs> If I gave it to you for your wedding and you opened it up and you shit your pants, that's going to ruin your <laughs> wedding dress. Right? So I don't want to do that. I'll See, be wearing the pants. I'm being don't nice worry. to you. <laughs> you wearing the pants. I'm not looking forward to having to go to the washroom in my wedding dress. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not supposed to have coffee at all that day? No. Uh, water? No. Alcohol? <laughs> no. Nothing? No. There's this hack I saw where somebody cut holes in the bottom of one of those blue Ikea bags. <laughs> when you go to the washroom, you step into it and then you you pull it up so it gets all of your skirt. <laughs> Just sitting there in a fucking... Wait, it wouldn't work that way. It would block everything. <laughs> <laughs> you just poop in the Ikea bag. <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I think this episode is going nowhere. <laughs> Are you excited for any, like, I mean, like you said, for OM Solutions, yeah. any gear or anything? Yeah, well, the biggest thing is I want to see what entry-level mirrorless stuff they're going to come out with. Yeah. Because Nikon and Canon, they have, they have their mirrorless cameras, but their entry-level mirrorless uh, Nikon's got the Z50, mm-hmm. which is over a thousand dollars. It's like twelve hundred dollars on sale. It's like that's not entry level. No, they call it entry level, but like, you know, put something out there for like four hundred bucks. Well, I wouldn't go that low. But six. I mean, well, when it's mirrorless, yeah, that makes sense. But like, they literally just eliminated like all entry level options for people who are just getting started. Exactly, and Canon's. Pretty much put the nail in the M series. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So there's that, but that's still so, like. But they've got to come out with a mirrorless kind of SL3 mm-hmm. T8i type option. Yeah. As long as they don't do a fucking T7 option in the mirrorless, like just kill those fucking things. I don't know why anybody buys them. But. Yeah, like the T6, T7, like the yeah. not the I version. Exactly. Because, like, the T7i is definitely, I would say it's better than the SL3. Oh, yeah. Definitely. For sure. Yeah. Because, like, the focus point number, I don't remember what it is, but, like, the T7i is, like, 50, and the SL3 is, like, 2. Maybe not. No, no. It's not. It's low. Yeah. What is it? Like, 20-something? Yeah. And then the SL3, or, yeah, the T7i is, like... T8i. The T8i is, like, isn't it 100 or something? it's, It's more. More. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? I was going to say something about camera stuff. I don't remember. Oh, no. Um, last episode, I went off on my dad. Okay. Right? <laughs> I wanted to clarify. <laughs> that Why, I'm not... did he watch it? No, oh, no, okay. he didn't. Okay. I just went back and watched it and I was like, wow. <laughs> I need to settle down. I love my dad to pieces. It's a generational thing. I bought him a fucking backup hard drive okay. for Christmas. It wasn't my original plan. I was just going to get him cookies, and I was like, no, I'm getting him a hard drive. So anyways. So that'll sit, like, in the box for till 2025? I made sure it wouldn't because okay. they, uh, my stepmom and him are always asking for movies and TV shows when I come home because I just illegally download them. What? <laughs> Okay. Um, I'll torrent them. And they wanted Handmaid's Tale, the newest okay. season, because yeah. they don't want to buy Hulu right. or pay for Hulu. So whenever I do that, our files are like 4K videos. Yeah. So we have to have like five or like three giant USB sticks to bring it home. And then we don't have our USB sticks. So it's like, okay, I'm going to download Handmaid's Tale and all these Christmas movies that he wants and put them on the hard drive and then put the hard drive back in the box and tell him that if he wants to watch it, he has to take it out of the box. And he did. He did. He plugged it right in. It's like, it's basically just a giant USB stick. You just have to be more careful with it. Yeah. He's like, okay. And it's just, I think it's just left plugged in. So I'm like, okay. 
So it's going to be a miracle if he unplugs it from the TV and back into his computer. Okay. But he knows how to down- download things and put them on a USB stick. So I'm like, you just have to do the same thing. And I even made him a folder that says Craig's photos. <laughs> so next time I go home, which is probably going to be in like March, I'm going to have to see if there's any photos in there. <laughs> yes. Oh, I forgot about the one news story. Narbox. Yeah, you sent. I forgot about that too. You sent me that. Yeah. Are so they? They Narbox has kind of just disappeared. Sort of. Their customer service and everything is non-existent. Their website is still working. You can still purchase things. But even their apps on the app stores are gone. Have disappeared. That's not helpful. Yeah. So basically, you could buy. Let's say a 500 and I think it's 512 gigabyte hard drive from them for like a thousand dollars. Yeah. It's basically just a hard drive now. Yeah. Because with the app, you could do all sorts of things with it, but now yeah. you can't. Like it's. So I don't know what's happening with Narbox. Wasn't were... Narbox one of the only brands that did like on-the-go backups yeah so how come no like did they patent that or something i think so i don't know Well, it's not helpful if they're not really existent anymore because that leaves people no options because basically you connect it to your phone Mm -hmm. okay and then you take out your memory card out of your camera Mm -hmm. stick it in the nerd box Mm -hmm. and then you can go on your phone and transfer everything from that card Mm -hmm. right into the nerd box you could even edit from your phone you can yeah. access all the files on that NAR box from your phone wirelessly. It was like it's a beautiful How setup. How long it's has it been fucking down? Fucking expensive. Yeah, it is very expensive. How long have they been non-existent? Beginning of December. Because I was gonna say maybe it's just like a hiccup where they're like fixing something, but that doesn't sound like a hiccup. No. And even the like some of the uh, the news reporting. Yeah. Agencies have tried contacting them, contact contract contacting through numerous sources and everything and nobody can get through to them. What the heck? But you can still place orders. You can still buy their products. And are people has any do you I don't know if you I don't I'm asking you this like you investigated it yourself. Um you probably did. But I'm wondering if people buy things, are they actually being shipped? Because if they're being shipped, know. there's still people working there. Yeah. Because I can see if people are buying things and they're not being shipped. Maybe nobody's working there and the company's gone down and they didn't, for some reason, take down their order processing. Yeah. But, like, the fact that you could buy this product and have no ab- absolutely no support, like, you can't That's even have an up. app for it. Like, even Seagate has freaking customer support for their hard drives. Yeah. I got my dad an A8... A- they call it, I don't know how people pronounce it, A data, A data. Okay, yeah. And they probably have customer support. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Yep. Which was episode. Oh my God. <laughs> we didn't even do the intro. No, we didn't. That's okay. What episode is it? 10? 11? I think so. 10, I think. 10 or 11. <laughs> Something. Of that. Photo chat. Toodaloo. Motherfuckers.